Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So we're going to take one more look at the DHX-2 collapsed pipe from the Binjuen Huang et al. reactor. There was an area up here with something fairly bright up there. Is that just a piece of copper? Quite possibly. Hmm, it's got a disc-shaped piece here. Uh, it looks like it's been born in or out of one of these structures. So we'll take a shot of that. So that's pretty clear, isn't it? Uh, whatever that is, it's got some sort of ring or hexagonal structure here and this material, which we will look at in the EDX. So it's going to be a heavier material than the background there. Uh, is it just going to be copper or is it going to be silver or what? Let's find out. Tin. Really? Tin? Mm, looks like tin. Well, well, well. This is the heaviest element we have found to date. It does have some carbon in there. And look at the copper. It's all the way down here. <laughs> and what have we got? That is part of the tin spectrum as well. That is very, very large amount of tin and you can literally see parts of the structure that formed it in it so at the very least this was ripped from something that was extremely pure tin by mass percent this is 49 percent let's go to because it's so heavy we'll look at the atomic concentration so still the majority of the elements are carbon and oxygen, but it has copper, which implies that that might have been part of the fuel, and tin, 13%. So there's nearly twice the amount of tin atoms, but by mass, it's a stonking 49.42%. Very striking. I think we'll do a map of this because it is so striking. But I think that's pretty conclusive that that is essentially tin, copper and oxygen. So here we go. Uh, we're going to sample this. Can you spot the high concentration of tin? Can you spot it? Certainly looks like it might be. And it's literally wrapped in this ring of carbon. Copper in the background. Carbon and oxygen here. Very, very clear. Beautiful. Guys, this is next level awesomeness. You have, if you look down here, our carbon and oxygen and partially copper ring. And in that ring, you have a ring of iron, a ring of iron going around here. Okay. And from the center of this structure, you have this cone of tin. So I believe this came from a bigger structure and uh, this is just next level. It's the heaviest element we've seen synthesized so far. Tin all the way up there. That is a heavy element. And uh, the ring of iron means whatever magnetic pressure and unification of the forces was going on in this level um, uh, has produced a bigger 
intensity of magnetic flux and able to crush the matter all the way through, in this case, to tin. Absolutely mind-bogglingly awesome. Here you go, you've got your ring of carbon and oxygen and a little bit of copper in there and your iron in there and there's a fragment that's broken off and it's embedded down here. It's obviously been pushed down this way as this stuff was emitted and look at the clarity in this, this ring of steel, this ring of iron carbonated. This is, this is a ring of steel going around and spitting out this tin. Absolutely incredible data.